two things at once. No, we're not talking about Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Kelsey's Pfizer commercial. No, a little boy has been accused of doubling up on racism. Welcome back to Azmuth Podcast. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Kimberly McNabb, and I'm Barrett McNabb. So here we go. We have a boy that is uh, shockingly wearing blackface, um, clearly uh, causing an uproar. And, um, you know, that's just it. It's now all the proof is done and uh, just is what it is. He's doing blackface. Well, a former New York Daily News reporter who is now a journalist for Deadspin uh, wrote an article claiming that a nine-year-old Kansas City Chiefs fan, Holden Armada's headdress and tomahawk chop, as well as his blackface, hates on black people and Native Americans all at once. He wrote, it takes a lot of uh, to disrespect two people at one time. Well, his mother responded that Phillips picked the side profile, showing only the black half of his face to create division. Now, for you sports fans, the team colors are red and black. And, to boot, the boy's grandfather sits on the board of the Chamash Native American tribe in California. Yeah, as we can see in the second photograph, he's clearly wearing red and black, uh, and he is a diehard Kansas City Chiefs fan. And uh, He's you know, a cute kid. Too. And he's a cute, really cute kid. Um, but Phillips doubled down. And, uh, and still said the NFL needed to outlaw the chop and change the team's name. But there's no retraction of the article as of this time. Now, he had done a tweet and um, had gotten, you know, lamblasted by conservative media groups. Uh, and he did take that tweet down. But the article still remains. And, I mean, here we go. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, trying to create uh, a problem where none exists yeah, because I, he was even aware that there were other photographs that had the red side of his face, yeah. uh, you know, showing. I think he's just jealous of the headdress because that is not something you get at Halloween spirit. That is a legit headdress. And if you've ever been in one of these uh, souvenir shops uh, with Native American, you know, jewelry and whatnot that stuff's expensive this is a legit headdress absolutely and you know the fact that he is native american uh you know and is is clearly uh wearing uh you know things that are to his culture um and his father's culture and grandfather's culture i mean to call this out is just absolutely disgusting and again the the mother will put some some uh, tweets that the mother uh had said about this but you know to just to try and destroy a nine-year-old's life um, with uh, something like this, it's just absolutely despicable. And and this guy, uh, Phillips, has, has a reputation uh, for doing virtue signaling um, on racism. And, uh, I mean, he just he just doesn't get it. Um, I Leva, guess he's never been to a Braves game either. Yeah. Because they do the, the chop there, too. Yeah, exactly. And and oh, if you want to talk about blackface uh, and making you know uh, racism, then every single Raiders, uh, including when they were in Oakland and now when they're uh, in Las Vegas, every Raider that paints their face black, um, you know, is now a racist as well. Uh, they nope, they're not supporting their team. And you have to to you can't take the the context of all of the chains and and dog collar spikes and things like that they're wearing. Nope racism. Uh, and if they're, um, you know, painting the other half of their face with silver, then they're also making fun of robots. Right. Uh, he, he should also go through some of uh, Jimmy Kimmel's uh, old bits. Right. As well. Right. Or, or joy from the view. Um, so anyway, uh, you know, as you're you're looking at, um, you know, what some of, of racism truly is, this is not it. Um, and but apparently this journalist uh, use that term loosely is willing to die in a sword uh, on this. But, you know, we've had numerous instances where media jump on things um, without getting the full information. And it's journalistic integrity uh, that is 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 that, you know, really the dispute mm -hmm. here um, because he didn't do any research. His editors didn't do any research. Uh, they just wanted a quick story and, and uh, to ruin this nine year old's life. And. Where's the integrity? I mean, if yeah. you're going to be in a, a journalist, where's the integrity? Yeah. And, you know, if it actually had been 
a case of racism, you know, bl- blame the parents, not a nine year old. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, you know, here we are. You know, the this is a, a child who definitely didn't expect to be in the media, um, in the news media. Uh, definitely, you know, is, is just wanting to root for his team. Um, and, you know, he there's even photographs of him posing with the opposite team, with the opposing team. So they, they loved it as well, um, the cheerleaders of, uh, of the opposite team. So, you know, it's just amazing that uh, this day and age we're, we're searching for problems. And I think that is a problem in and of itself. Yep, exactly. Well, thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, segment of Azimuth Podcast. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, everyone. Thank you for listening. If you enjoy our show with all the stories we share, we would love your support. And it's as easy as clicking that subscribe or follow button. This will ensure you never miss an episode and keeps us bringing you these important stories. Your support makes a huge difference. Thank you so much for being part of our podcast family. Thanks, and keep tuning in.